This here, I never expected to sell. I was actually shocked when I got, um, when this sold. I didn't even get an offer. It sold for my sale price of $13. It's Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos items to be on the lookout for that I picked up cheap and sold for a profit on eBay. These are my items that I sold for $35 or less. Let's get started. All right, so the first item I sold is this Kasik Thermal Sleep Shirt. And just before we start, I want to tell you if you want to learn how to create a coupon, type into the YouTube search bar, Bolo Buddies coupon, and it should pull up how to create a coupon. I have where I show you how to do this, which you see right here. I also show you how to send coupons to your followers and coupons to past buyers. And I think this is a very, very important marketing tool that I don't use enough. <laughs> um, I just need to take better advantage of sending to followers and sending to past buyers. I just don't do it enough, I don't think. But this is always up and it does work. So this first item is a Cacique Thermal shirt. I picked this up at, um, I think it was Discount Fashion Warehouse. It's a discount store locally. And I probably bought, I don't know, 50 to 100 of these in different sizes. I want to say I paid a dollar each for them. Um, what I would do is I would go into this store and I would buy in bulk and I would average out the price of everything at the end of this, at the end, I'd take my receipt, how many items I had divided out by the total I paid. And it was usually an average of $3. So, but I think this was one of the items that helped keep that on the lower end because some of the items were $5 or $7, but average of three. And that's how I used to do my retail arbitrage when I try to figure out cost of goods. It was just simpler that way. So this, I sold three of these to one buyer. They were all in for $26.04. And I also have a thing where if they add to their cart and it's first class items, it will give them $5 shipping. So they were all in for $31.01 with the discounts and the shipping. And those are some little tips to increase sales. And this is a list it and forget it. It's a Cacique Thermal Sleep Shirt. I just keep selling them over and over. I think I'm sold out of the larger sizes, but I do have some of the 1820 left and maybe some of the size below. Is it a 1416? I think. So, all right. So the next item is the 1995 Cats Meow Village Telegraph Pole Crane Wood Lionel Train Village. So these are Cats Meow. One thing that you see right away is the cat. Uh, that is what this is known for. It says Cats Meow. If you see these, you know, they're a good bread and butter item. I ended up selling these for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. And I pick these up usually at garage sales in bulk. So I get them really cheap. Uh, Fisher Price Mini Monster Car Lot. These came out of a thrift store mystery box. I ended up selling these for $9.92 and the buyer paid shipping. These are just push roll cars. Nothing too fancy here. They were in a mystery box. So I listed them to make some of my money back. Um, so yeah. The next item is this Canadian. Uh, it's a patch. It's a Niagara Falls patch. And you can see it's got writing on it. But major bread and butter here, major bread and butter. I don't even remember where I got it or what I paid for it, but I sold it for $6 and 20 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And it's got all of this writing on the back. This I got at the Goodwill bins. It is a vintage 1994 white singing gorilla plush stuffed animal. I'm too sexy is what it sings. And I sold this before Valentine's day and it sold for $19 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I probably had a couple bucks in that from the Goodwill bins. The next item is this vintage country wood dollhouse miniature set. I think I got this at an estate sale. I'm not 100% sure, but I pieced it together, thought these items looked cute together, sold this for a best offer of $20, and it did take a while to sell. The buyer paid shipping. Fisher Price Little People Airport luggage carrier baggage carts. Anything Fisher Price that's vintage. A lot of times they're long tail, but they do sell. I sold these for $8.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got these out of a 
uh, mystery box from Auctions for You. That is her YouTube channel. This is a troll doll. Got it from a garage sale. Paid two bucks for it. It is a Build-A-Bear. It is Grumpy Branch Troll. And I sold this for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. I was hoping he was going to go for a little more, but nope, just 13 on him. Some Build-A-Bear go for big money. I just um, recently did a video on this telling you the whole story behind it and where I, uh, why I sold it for what I sold it for and just the whole story behind it. Story time. Go check out that video. But I ended up taking a best offer of, you'll have to go watch the video to find out. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. I don't know if it's going to come out before this or after this, but watch for that video. It's a good story. I don't want to ruin it by telling you. All right, here we go. We got this Octopus Bubbles, the Scentsy Buddy plush clip. Keychain toy purple mini retired. Sold this for $9.75 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got it at a garage sale for $1. This one is a Kasik brawl. This was a retail arbitrage. I went on to the Kasik Lane Bryant and I would buy brawls on clearance. This is back when I was big into clothing and I bought a whole bunch of these. I think my cost of goods was around $6 with coupons and the item being on clearance. This one has been a little bit harder to sell. It is the Sophie the Owlet, I think is how you say it, line. So it's a collaboration, a little bit fancier of a brawl, but I bought a bunch and I'm just kind of working my way through it. Sold it for $19.49 and the buyer paid shipping. I probably have maybe five or six left in smaller sizes. Kasik, if you don't know, is a plus size brand. They have uh, really, really nice quality brawls. And these, even if you find them pre-owned, do well. And the buyer paid shipping on that one. This one came from an estate sale. It's a beret and it is uh, Congel, Cangel. I'm not sure how to say it, but it looks like that. I sold this for $16 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. This is a My Twin Doll nightgown. And this came out of a uh, auctions for you. A mystery box. And usually I pick them up for about a hundred bucks and she sends me a box of mystery items and I unbox them on the channel. And then I sell the items. This was a nightgown that was in there and I sold this for $12 and 40 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Disney Fantasia latch hook kit, Thomas Kincaid. This took forever to sell. I thought this was going to be a home run. Maybe I had it priced too high. I don't know. But I ended up selling it for $34.10. I paid $5 for it at a garage sale. I always pick up craft kits. This one here is a Playmobil Black Horse Medieval Armor toy figure. I got this at a thrift store for a quarter. It was in, I think, a little lot of toys. So I averaged it out to be about $0.25. Cents. Sold it for $11.05 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage little doll baby head, pigtails, black hair, Martha Nelson Thomas, 1985. I got this at the Goodwill bins. The packaging was damaged, but I still thought I could sell it. And I did. I sold this for $15 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. Goodwill bins find. This here, I never expected to sell. I was actually shocked when I got, um, when this sold. I didn't even get an offer. It sold for my sale price of $13. It's like a souvenir doll. Handmade straw doll, uh, NASA or NASU, NASU, I don't know, N-A-S-S-A-U. I don't even know what that means. So if you guys remember back, my friend Erin gave me a bag of her childhood memories. So it was plush and stuff like that. There were some big money bolos in there. Some of them I've already sold and some of them are still listed, but you guys should definitely check out that unbagging. It was a lot of fun, but this item, I'm like, I'm going to list it and forget it and see if it sells, but it actually sold. Would you have listed this or would you have donated it? I sold it for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Fisher Price table. Sold it for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. Usually pick these up at garage sales with the house and um, they're a great item to sell. I did recently have a Fisher Price loving family sale over on Whatnot. If you guys want to check out the replay, it's under my live shows. You can kind of see what Fisher Price Loving Family goes for on Whatnot. Um, I am Bolo Buddies over there. If you guys are not on Whatnot, definitely uh, check out my referral link down below. 
and you can get $15 to shop. Mostly I sell jewelry, but I have a huge money pile. I'll probably be doing other things. I've done vintage Christmas. I've done vintage clothing, uh, lots of toys, but my favorite thing to sell over there is jewelry. So come and see me, come hang out. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just come hang in the chat. It's lots of fun. Um, I would love to connect with you guys that watch the channel. So lots of you have already come over. Thank you so much. I appreciate it greatly, whether you buy or not. I just appreciate you being there for me. Thank you so much. All right, let's go on to the next one. Uh, these are vintage earrings, clip on West Germany, uh, Germany, cameo left, right, oval filigree. And I'm not sure if I got these on whatnot because um, I feel like I might have, but I didn't make a note. But the buyer messaged me and said that the shoulders were broken on this one, which I didn't even catch when I listed it. So I had these listed high because they're beautiful. And I ended up taking um, a best offer of $35 plus shipping because they told me they were broken. I didn't catch it. So right there, see, you can see it in the pictures, but I would have disclosed that. I don't think I saw it. Maybe. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I totally missed it. So $35 plus shipping with the defect. The next item are these Isadora uh, pantyhose. I got these at the Goodwill Benz. Very lightweight item. I bought a whole bunch of them that day. They retailed for $1.29 back when they were at the store. And I sold these for $6.50 and the buyer paid shipping. A good thing to do is have this coupon up there. I have multiples. A lot of times people will buy more than one because of that discount. The next item, another thing, buy one, get one 25% off. You may end up getting a um, person that buys this with a uh, with the discount, buy one, get one, because I have four left. I've sold seven. This was a going out of business sale for uh, Pac Sun, and I probably bought over 100 of these, but this was a long time ago. See, I was still listing on the carpet without the background remover. Um, I actually sold these for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. Somebody bought this when my sale had ended. So it was just kind of that in between time when it was not on sale. So I sold those for 18 plus shipping. All right, you guys, those are my bread and butter bolos items that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. I also have videos where I show you what I sold on Poshmark and Mercari. Uh, there are links down below if you want to join Poshmark and Mercari. Poshmark, you get $10 to shop. Mercari, you get $10 to shop um, when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. Both of those are referral links, so I get money to shop when you buy something on those platforms and when you sell the hundred dollars. So thank you so much when you guys use my referral and affiliate links. Those are all linked down below. I appreciate it greatly. It does help me out, helps me keep this channel going and excuse me and um, come see me on whatnot. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.